These are the most affordable golf clubs I've had a chance to test, but are they any good? Let's find out. Okay, so what's affordable? In this video, I'm gonna test these woods up against the Callaway Paradigm AI Smoke. A Callaway Paradigm AI Smoke driver comes in at 599 bucks. This driver, 350. The Callaway Paradigm AI Smoke three wood comes in at 350 bucks. This guy, 200. And then the Callaway Paradigm AI Smoke Hybrid is 279 bucks. This guy, 170. I'm gonna put these head to head to find out if these guys can keep up with the big names. Now I'm sure you're wondering who makes these clubs. These clubs are made by Haywood. Haywood is a direct to consumer golf brand from Vancouver, Canada. Oh, Canada, our home and native land. That's right, right in my backyard. And these guys are so sweet looking. So let's say you're shopping for a brand new driver. You go to the golf store, you see the brand new Callaway comes in at $5.99. Then right beside it, there's Haywood. They look awesome and they're only $3.50. So it's like, what's the catch? So I wanna find out if there's $250 difference in performance. And that's why I'm gonna do a head to head test to see if Haywood keeps up with the big names like Callaway. The first thing we're gonna take a look at is the hybrid. So from a visual standpoint, I love how all of these woods look. If you like the carbon, the black, some minimalism, I kind of think if like Cobra and Titleist and maybe PXG had a baby, they would be these clubs. First of all, I'm gonna hit the hybrid. So let's give this guy a hit and uh, we'll see how it feels. Feel why so far they feel super solid. I find that they're almost a little bit muted. It doesn't have like that really loud, obnoxious ping. I think it's on the quieter end of woods, but so far I'm liking these results. Like that one's right down the line, 262 total. At the end of this, I'm gonna compare it to the Callaway data that I got just before hitting these so we can see how they stack up. I'll let you guys know too that this is a four hybrid. If any of you guys are new to the channel, my name is Brandon. I do club reviews just like this one. And I have a special surprise for all you guys watching this video. I'm going to give away all of these woods. So I'm going to give away the Haywood 4 Hybrid, 3 Wood, and Driver. I put a link in the description of this video where you can sign up to be entered to win one of these three woods. Good luck. I'm a big fan how this sets up. I think from a top down view looking at it, it looks most like a ping. I think the top with it being kind of just like a flat black. So if you've ever played ping woods or hybrids, this should look pretty familiar. Big high cut, haven't had one of those yet. I am a big fan how that hybrid felt, but now let's compare it to the data to see how it compares to the Callaway. All right guys, I'm gonna run through the data on my four hybrid. And if you're not familiar with club data, I'm gonna try to dumb it down for you and show you the things that I look for when comparing clubs. The first thing I'm looking at is carry. Everyone wants to know how far these clubs are going. So that four hybrid was carrying on average 251. I did 10 hits of both the Haywood and the Callaway. If I go right to the Callaway, carry was 251.3. So a 0.3 yard difference in carry. The thing that I notice is different is the total yardage. So I'm seeing the total on the Haywood was 262. Callaway was 268, so why would that be? Why would it be rolling out a little bit further? Here's the next thing that I'm looking at is spin. The spin is 3,600 RPM on the Callaway. The Haywood was 4,600, so 1,000 more RPM of spin. Spin sometimes might knock off some rollout. I'll let you know too that the shafts that I was using in the Haywood and the Callaway were slightly different. I didn't have the exact same shaft to use, but I picked shafts that had very similar characteristics. So it's almost an apples to apples comparison. I just didn't have the exact same shaft. Let's look at the dispersion. Let's see where these things were going. This is the Haywood. So extremely consistent from a distance standpoint, right? My shortest being this guy probably here, 245 and the longest being 256, so only a 10 yard variance. That's actually really good. Let's look at the Callaway. Callaway, I actually had more variance. So you can see that my shortest was this guy here at 240, and this one up top was two, almost 260, so 20 yard variance. So I actually had more variance in the Callaway than the Haywood. Look how consistent the Haywood is. I'll let you guys know that when I was doing my testing, I was super warm. I've hit so many balls. I've gone up and down my bag. I'm feeling really good. So there shouldn't be any fatigue between the Haywood or the Callaway. But so far in that hybrid session, very similar. 
And based on how consistent the distance was on the Haywood, so far I'm leaning towards Haywood. And again, that Haywood hybrid's 170, Callaway hybrid's 280. So $100 difference in value. Another thing that I noticed so far between the Haywood and the Callaway is I was hitting the Haywood much higher. Haywood has averaging 131 feet where the Callaway was only 115. So again, because there's lower spin, more rollout, that makes sense why the total is different. But just from a carry, they were right on the money with each other. So that's pretty cool to see. Now I'm gonna test the three wood. Moving on to the Haywood three wood. Again, this thing looks awesome. I'm so impressed by the visuals alone. I kind of pick a lot of my clubs based on visuals. Of course, data takes into account, but I wanna like what I'm looking at. I've talked to a lot of you in the comments that don't care what you look at. So some of you might think these look really cool. Some of you might not. Again, it's kind of up to personal preference, but I love the carbon on the top. The hybrid didn't have any carbon. So now we're moving into carbon. Carbon is used on the, almost the majority of new woods out there. It's a lighter material. You can play around with the weight, but I think this thing looks really good. So let's give it some hits and see how it compares to the Callaway. So solid for a swing. That felt so good. 293 wood, how are you? For those of you that are new to the channel, we're filming in Calgary, Alberta. We're filming here at Modern Golf, which is a facility, facility across Canada. The elevation here is about 3,400 feet. We're using a Pro V1 RCT ball. Oh, I got a big pull, I think. Oh, it's okay. Maybe not. Forgiving. That's funny. I thought that was a huge pull and it ended up being. Uh, just fine. It's funny, I haven't played a three wood in years. I just found them so hard to hit. But after my first handful of hits with these, I'm like, why haven't I had a three wood in my bag? <laughs> it was relatively tight dispersion and I'm getting big numbers. I know a lot of you guys like my high handicap testing when I bring someone in who's maybe a little bit more relatable of a golfer. And I totally get the other extreme where you wanna see a robot testing where everything is the exact same. I'm trying to come up with a bit of a compromise. Again, I'm just using my own swing and I'm trying to keep it as consistent as I can. So hopefully you guys would agree that this is a pretty fair comparison. So I have no affiliation with Haywood. Actually, it's a funny story how I got in contact with them. I was on vacation with my family in Mazatlan, Mexico. My in-laws live down there. We go there every Christmas to play some golf, get away from the snow in Canada. And I got paired with a guy named Josh Haywood. Josh is the owner of Haywood Golf. We got to talking to a little bit and he said he'd be thrilled if I reviewed his clubs. So I really have no affiliation other than we golfed together one time in Mexico, but I'm really appreciative that he gave me these to test and he was willing to put up three to give away to all you guys. So again, good luck in that contest. That might've been my best one yet. <laughs> Man, this thing goes, this thing goes. I'm excited to see what the numbers are like against the Callaway because that session felt really good. Let's break down these numbers. Let's start with Haywood. I know it sounds like I'm tooting over here, but this floor is creaky. I don't know if you can hear that. Everyone's always like, why is this guy cutting it up in his videos? It's this stupid floor, I apologize. Haywood, carry, 275. Callaway, three wood, carry, 275 and a half. Haywood, total, 299. Callaway, total. 303, four yards difference. So why is that? Haywood again, the spin is up. Callaway is 2,700 spin. Haywood is 3,200 spin. But to get the exact same carry and almost the same rollout, like pretty crazy. Smash factor went down a little bit on the Haywood. Callaway was 146, this was 144. Height, Callaway was lower. So Callaway's gonna run out a little bit more. Haywood was actually pretty nice to get it up in the air so you could you know, go for a par five and two. Let's look at the dispersion. Okay, a bit of variance. A three wood, like I said, is probably one of the harder clubs to hit. So I was assuming more variance than say my hybrid with my shortest being this guy here at 277 total versus 311. So some pretty good variance, but I kept them all in the grid like to find a fairway I think was actually pretty accurate. Three wood on the Callaway, a little bit more consistent. So I would say that I actually had a better hitting session with the Callaway. You can see how much tighter they are together. So I had a couple more miss hits with the Haywood, but that could be a shaft difference too. So again, I didn't have the exact same hazardous. I used another stock extra stiff option. They have very similar characteristics. When I hit the driver next, those are apples to apples, the exact same driver shaft. So that would be the truest test that I can do. 
But so far, looking at the 10 hits between both of those from a number standpoint, super, super close. So do you see $150 in difference in performance? Last one, driver, here we go. Looking at this driver again, if you told me it was a Cobra, a PXG, I would believe you. I would have to look at the sole and go, Haywood, I haven't heard of Haywood. Well, now you guys have. So let's give this driver a hit and see if it keeps up with the Callaway. Wow. It does sound loud. Whew. That one was roasted. That last hit was incredibly optimal. 340 yards, like give me a break. Down the line. <laughs> so good. Callaway has his work cut out for it, that's for sure. But even in just that hit alone, if you could tell me that this is 350 bucks, which is like almost half the price of other drivers out there and you get those results, like incredible value. Like really, really good. I guess the only couple things I would knock on this Haywood driver so far would be the sound. I'm just not thrilled with the sound. I think there's other drivers out there that sound better. And then the weight settings. So like on the Callaway Paradigm has a movable weight track that I can move the weights to a fade or draw bias. This Haywood only has one weight in the back. It looks interchangeable. So I think on the Haywood website, you can buy heavier or lighter weights, but there's no way that I can maneuver the weight setup on the head. Now in the Hosel setting, I could change it to a fade or draw bias. But I like that some of these other drivers have weight options to change the bias, just using the weight in the back of the head. There's something else that I'm noticing about the feedback on this driver, and this might be a good or bad thing depending on how you look at it. I've now had some strikes dead center, some on the toe, some low, some high, and I can feel the difference in all of them. The Callaway driver, you can pretty much hit on the toe, on the heel, center of the club face, and it all feels the same. So do you like to feel feedback if you hit it good or bad, or do you want it all to feel the same? I personally like the feedback on the club. I wanna know when I didn't hit it great, and I find a lot of these new drivers are trying to get rid of that feeling of a poor hit. So that's kind of up to your interpretation to see if that's good or bad. That wraps up my hits with the Haywood. Felt pretty good. Let's see how the numbers compare to the Callaway. This is interesting. Super interesting. This is the Haywood. I had a consistent fade bias. All 10 of my shots went to the right, okay? Let's look at the Callaway. Callaway was draw bias, all with the exception of one or two. Both heads were on the standard neutral setting. The shaft was the exact same, but for whatever reason, I was turning the Callaway head over. Let's go back to Carry. Carry, Haywood, 305. Carry, Callaway, 303. Total, Haywood, 335. Total, Callaway, 326. So, like a 10 yard difference in total, nine yard difference. The club head speed was almost the exact same. 116.9 with the Haywood, 116.1. Ball speed was up on the Haywood. It was like five miles an hour faster with the exact same club head speed. Smash factor was a 147 versus a 144. So I think I was actually hitting the Haywood a little bit better. That's really cool to see that the Haywood was actually going further. What was the height? Haywood was 103, Callaway 122. So the Callaway was going higher landing softer. So that's why the total distance would be slightly different. Let's look at dispersion. Pretty tight circle, like not one went in the rough. So all 10 of those are in play. Shortest being 317 total and the longest was 347. So 30 yard variance in my shortest and longest. Let's go to Callaway. Callaway, super consistent, like incredibly consistent. So the shortest being 319 up to 333. So I definitely hit the longest drive with the Haywood but for whatever reason, the head was just a little bit more consistent on a distance uh, dispersion. But this is really good too, right? You take out these two little short ones, maybe I hit those low on the face, some kind of spinny ones I'm guessing, yeah. 3200, 3500 spin, I don't think I had any spin that high with the Callaway. So you remove two of those, they're right neck and neck. So do these Haywood clubs perform? Heck yeah, they perform. I'm actually kind of blown away for this price point, how comparable they are. Why would they be so drastic in price? Haywood's direct to consumer, so they don't have to go inside of a Dick's Sporting Goods, Golf Galaxy, Golf Town, and then they get their markup. 
Kaywood doesn't have any PJ Tour or Live Tour sponsors that they have to pay. Now the disadvantage of direct to consumer is you can't hit it before you buy it. You could go to any Golf Galaxy, Dick Sporting Goods, Golf Town, hit a Callaway driver and dial it in and get fit, where you can't necessarily do that with the Haywood. What you can do for Haywood is you can go to their headquarters in Vancouver, Canada, and they can fit you. So you do have that option. There might just be some travel involved. If you guys have any questions on the Haywood products, make sure you comment below. Would be really interested to see what you guys think because I was actually blown away by that comparison. Thanks again for watching this video. We'll check in with you guys next time.